Some of you guys are looking at me like you've never seen a Vietnamese chick hold a microphone outside a karaoke night. What's happening? <laughs> you know, karaoke and Hello Kitty. That's like crack to little Asian girls, right? Pachaco! <laughs> I need you in my life. I am Vietnamese. I am Vietnamese. I try to represent for my people when I'm up here. I don't want to be a negative stereotype. A lot of people don't know that much about Vietnamese culture. Some of you guys know about our food. We have this delicious soup called pho. Has anyone ever had it? Yeah, right? Okay, some of you aren't clapping. For those of you who don't know, we take all the weird stuff on the cow white people don't want to eat, and we put it in a soup. <laughs> the lower the number on the menu, the weirder the item. <laughs> number 37 is just beef tongue. It's delicious. So good. Oh, come on, Mexicans. You know what I'm talking about. It's like menudo. Don't. You guys are staring at me. <laughs> yes, I'm married too. What's up? I trapped a man. I'm excited, right? It's great. I love my guy. A lot of people talk smack about marriage, right? They'll be like, the romance ends when you get married. The romance ends. I have found the romance actually increases. It's true, guys. Marriage turns women on. If you want to get a girl turned on, propose to her. Right? You get down on one knee, we'll get down on two. <laughs> you don't have to marry her. Just propose. <laughs> she will sleep with you three times a day to get you off her so she can Google wedding dresses online. All right? Don't lie. Every woman in here gets turned on by say yes to the dress. Am I right? <laughs> Like, oh, Vera Wang, Vera Wang. <laughs> I was on a budget. I had Vera Wong. Um, that's my cousin. She made my dress. Um, <laughs> but uh, sometimes something will happen. Like, I've been with my guy for over 10 years, but I don't know if anyone here has been in a long-term relationship, but sometimes something will happen. Like, my hubby, he won't clip his toenails, and he'll rub his leg on me in the bed, or he'll fart, and I'll just snap. I'm like, I'm stuck with him for the rest of my life. And I start thinking about things I never thought I would think about. Like, I thought about becoming a prostitute. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. Don't judge me. So we were making love. Um, and then he finished. And he rolled over and fell asleep and started snoring. I was like, oh, my God. I could have just made $100. What the heck? <laughs> I'm all, get up! Get up and do your job! <laughs> That's going downtown for you guys who don't know what his job is, right? <laughs> He did a little karate chop. <laughs> All right, a lot of guys here don't go downtown. That's great. Good to know, ladies. Look around at who's laughing. <laughs> She's laughing too hard. <laughs> I love my God. I'm the, I'm the third person in my uh, family to get married. My sister's married and my brother's married, but my brother's a Gaijin, so... Oh, you guys got quiet. You don't know about the Gaijins? Gay plus Asian, hey. <laughs> he is a Gaijin. He, he was hiding in a closet with a glass door. <laughs> yeah. He, was, he came out. He's like, I'm gay. We're like, we know. <laughs> Can you go back in like one leg in? One leg? Mom and dad are embarrassed. Let's, <laughs> let's tone it down. Uh, it's legal in the States, but he doesn't live here. He, li he lives in another country where it's not legal. And whatever your viewpoint on gay marriage, if you're against it, that's fine. If you're like, hey, I'm Catholic, whatever. Just don't be an idiot. I was performing at a show. This guy comes up to me after the show. He's like, well, if we let the gays get married, what's next, marrying your dog? I'm like, you're an idiot. <laughs> what's next is multiple marriages. What about the Mormons, right? Then little kids, then dogs. Dogs would never be next. Why would dogs be next? <laughs> Idiot. Okay, you guys have been awesome. I'm Rosie Tran. Thank you.